This is the brand new, new XQI3 electric motorcycle. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day for me. I finally got my hands on the all new, new XQI3 electric motorcycle. This thing is coming soon. It's not out yet, but new did send me this bike to review. So shout out to new. I usually start my reviews by riding around and then talking about the specs, but this thing is so special, I wanted to start with the specs. So we're looking at a fully street legal electric bike, which is pretty amazing. As far as the powertrain, new developed their own motor, which goes up to 6,000 watts, 8,000 watt peak. I'll talk about that a little bit later. The battery is 72 volt, 32 amp hour, using 21700 cells. As far as brakes on the rear, we have a 203 millimeter rotor. On the front is 230 millimeter rotor with these motorcycle style brake levers and DOT fluid. Everything on this bike is DOT approved to make it street legal. Moving on to the suspension, we got KKE suspension all around with this canister style uh, rear shock and KKE forks, inverted forks in the front. The seat is beautiful, super grippy and super comfortable. Uh, and it comes out using this latch system. I'll show you that as well. In the front, we have a halo style headlight with low beam and high beam. In the rear, we have an active brake light and turn signals. We also have this beautiful color display that shows you a ton of information. I'll show you that as well in detail. The bike comes with two keys which you can use to turn the bike on or unlock the latch for the seat to remove the battery. But other than that, it also has NFC cards, two cards and an NFC token, NFC chip, which you can use to turn the bike on. It also comes with an app that gives you a ton of information like lap times, it stores your route, it can connect to your phone and answer phone calls. It's pretty insane. You can register the NFC to your phone and when you get near it with your phone, you can use that to turn the bike on. Pretty cool. Now let me show you all the stuff that's on the handlebars because there is a lot. So once the bike is turned on, it will go into parking. You have to hit the brake and hit this green button for the bike to be able to start going. Then we have this really cool trigger that goes in between modes and actually enables turbo mode. Then we got this safety mechanism. It's magnetic. If this gets removed, the bike will stop working. Very cool to have. We have our color display over here. And on the left side, we have a USB-C charger, our headlight, high beam, low beam, turn signals with the cancel button, sport and eco buttons, horn. And on this side, we have another trigger, which will start and stop timers and all of the other features. Again, I'll talk about that in more detail when we ride. All right, so those were some of the specs. I'll talk about them more in detail when we go out riding and show you some of the screen options and things like that. Now it's on to the bad stuff, the, the things I don't like. The main, main, main issue I have with this bike, and it's funny because on Sir Ronster's video, he mentions the same thing, but it is true, is the whole charging mechanism over here. So in order to charge the bike, you have to remove the seat every time and disconnect the battery, which is, I mean, after a while, I can see how this can get annoying. So you have to undo this clamp. After you undo the clamp, you have to hit this button down here, which will pop the, the seat off. The seat comes off you have to undo another clamp to open the battery tray to remove this plug and then put on your charger plug. I mean, ah. 
And that's the one thing that I dislike about it. Let me put this thing back together. That's pretty much the bad things about this bike. Let's get on this thing, take it for a ride, test the speeds and all that stuff. Let's do that right now. All right, moment of truth. Let's get on this thing. I'll show you the starting procedure and we'll take this thing for a ride. Put that kickstand up. So once you're on the bike, again, if you got your phone all hooked up with the NFC chip, then you don't need any of these things, but I don't. So take the NFC chip, bike turns on. As I mentioned, it's a beautiful display. I really hope the camera will pick it up. But once you're on there, you hit the brake and hit this green button. It will give you, uh, this will turn green. And this bike is very talkative, let's call it that. Anything you do on there gives you like a feedback. So if I change from eco to sport, you get that little noise. And it actually changes the screen to red, from green to red. If you do blinkers, it makes that noise pretty cool. Uh, let's start in eco. So one thing I forgot to mention earlier is uh, this motor has a gearbox kind of like the Talaria and it's so much quieter than my Suron. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's got actually a pretty beautiful sound. Uh, maneuverability and stuff is insane and the suspension oh my god it's so comfortable and cushy the seat is comfortable it's much wider than the Suron seat and it's much more comfortable than any e-bike seat that I've ever tested let's make our way to the Volta Adventures testing ground let's start out in uh, eco mode just to see where things go it kind of rained really hard over here yesterday so I'm not sure what I'll run into on this thing is absolutely amazing I, I didn't even touch it so um, I didn't adjust it or anything just how it is how it came out of the box I love this track my little Voltage Adventures test track it's short and sweet and it's just absolutely amazing Let's try this uphill. No problem. Oh my god, this thing is a monster. Absolute monster, this thing. Oh my god, this thing is so crazy. It's got so much power in sports mode. It just wants to lift the wheel up. This thing just wants to lift its wheel up like crazy. Uh, this is a cool test. See what the light is like. Not the darkest in here, but enough to kind of test the light. It's pretty cool. Let's hit the trail again in sport mode. Next video of this bike is going to be a range test. I uh, believe it or not, I have never had a 72 volt bike. But uh, so we'll do a range test on this. Man, this thing just is insane. This thing is so much fun. Holy cow. This 
so much fun this thing is. Oh my God, I just ate this hill up. The grade on this hill is at least 45 degrees, if not more, and this bike just did it without an issue whatsoever, just ate it up. All right, at this point, let's leave the Voltage Adventures testing track. We'll uh, do a more in-depth off-road run to see how it compares with a Suron, a Talaria, things like that. But I want to test out the top speed of this thing. They claim that it'll do 45 miles an hour. Let's see if that's accurate. I want to see if the speedometer here is accurate. All right, another thing I forgot to show you guys earlier, and I hope you guys can see well, is the screen and these trigger bars. So the trigger on the right, if you press it inward, it will enable boost mode, which we'll test in a second. If you press it down, it will change the page into this, I guess, timer. The timer is activated and reset by the left trigger. So if I press down on the trigger, it will start a timer. Pressing down again will stop it. Pressing down again will start it again and stop it. Pressing in will reset. It'll ask me reset. You press in again and resets it. Now if the timer is going and then you hit the trigger, it will start a new a new page till you stop it hit it in to reset another page is the navigation page but you need the app in order to show you the path that you're on I don't have it connected so it's not showing and pressing down again goes back to this main screen just wanted to show you that so it's a pretty cool intuitive screen now I put my phone mount on here and I got my speedo app open so we can see how accurate this uh, speedometer really is so let's start an eco and see what happens so we're tapped out in 29 and my speedometer is showing 27. It's a little off. Let's go ahead and use our signals. And mirrors, this is amazing. So much fun to be able to ride on the street and feel more uh, confident having brake lights, turn signals, all that stuff. Now, one thing that I didn't really touch is the price. All right, guys, so this is future Tom speaking to you right now. I had a little bit of different information when I was making the video regarding the price, but I just found out that this motorcycle is gonna get released in the United States for $4,999. 72 volt battery, all the technology. So I got really, really excited when I found out that this is the actual price this bike is gonna be selling for. $5,000 for all you're getting. That is absolutely insane. Anyways back to the video now i'm gonna go into sport mode now because we're on the street and let's see what the top speed of this bike is the torque on this thing is absolutely insane i want to test out this boost mode uh, i don't know if i mentioned the power so regularly in sport mode you're looking at about 6,000 watts but when we hit this trigger over here it should give us 8,000 watts but that only lasts for a little bit and this screen will actually show you how long it lasts for and how much uh, time you have left for it so let's try that right now well I still want to see what it tops out at and see if we can hit that 45 there we go so the bike is showing 48 but we are going 45 if I hit boost, ultra boost, 
what happens then? Is it more in the lower end or what? Is it Ultra Boost is ending? I know we're at constant 45, so Mike was showing 48. Uh, and it did 45, which is what the advertised uh, speed is. So they're not lying there. Just that takeoff torque is pretty crazy. It doesn't take long for that Ultra Boost to be available for you again. Just part of kind of nice, but I feel like if you're constantly using it, um, you are uh, gonna eat that battery up quick. And uh, speaking of eating making this review has made me super hungry I didn't eat all day today so we're gonna make uh, our way to Chipotle this time around using that boost past that car sweet oh man the suspension is so nice on this thing Another thing is that uh, it might not seem like it, but it's really, really windy today. I mean, I can feel the wind pushing against me big time. So I'm sure that affects the situation. But that's pretty much for this review, guys. As I mentioned, we're gonna have a range test coming soon. And, well, a street range test. And we're gonna do an off-road test. So definitely make sure to subscribe but that is pretty much it for this one guys i appreciate you watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace